is, is huge for these kids, this senior class. Um, you know, you're not, people might think you're not playing for anything. We were playing for a lot. That was, that meant a lot to our seniors. It meant a lot to our younger players to help the seniors walk out. We've lost a lot of close games here in the last few years to TSU. And uh, these kids wanted to beat them too. It let us finish all the way back up to either fourth or fifth. I'm not sure what it was in the league. We got to finish middle of the pack. Uh, we won two of the three state championship state games and the only one we lost to quarterback played with a broken hand in there. So it means a lot to these kids. And, uh, it means a lot to me to let them taste in that locker room the last time, taste to win. That, meant, that means more than than the scoreboard will ever know that those seniors can walk out of here with their heads up and taste it. Taste the last two times they were in there, they won. They won two straight at home here to finish the year and gave us a winning record at the house. It meant a lot. Ladarius, uh, TSU is obviously a personal game to you. How was it not? How did it feel to get those first two touchdowns at the beginning of the game? I mean, it was. It was what it was. I mean, it was exciting for me, but. For me, most importantly, I just want to do everything I could do, everything in my power to, to help us get a W, and that's what happened. Trades 16 tackles tonight. Um, obviously, the, you know, TSU's offense can do a lot of good things. How important was it to be able to get that, those stops? Uh, it was really important because uh, we said all along that uh, it's going to come down to us on defense to win the game. And uh, My last game of my career, we can say on defense, we won the game for our team, so it means a lot to us. Um, all, for all four of you guys, I mean, senior day, what do you feel like you're leaving for this program? I mean, you know, it's just great leadership, you know, <clears throat> trying to show the younger guys how to ground it out and how to, you know, how to win before you get on the field. And also, you know, how to be coachable and how to, you know, take everything any of the coaches tell you, you know, and use it, you know. I feel like all my boys right here, we all are great leaders on our football team and going to be great leaders in life. So I feel like that's what we need. I think we, I think we set a good example. And, uh, and we kind of showed, kind of leaving a little bit of the legacy of, you know, how to handle adversity throughout the season, finishing strong. And then that, you know, with that comes pride, just having pride being, you know, playing football here for Tennessee Tech and just, uh, you know, what it means, you know, a win for, for each other. Just kind of that, that camaraderie, and that's something that hopefully those guys will remember and, and have their senior year when they when they come through. So just just to teach our guys that this every every game in this OVC is a fight. It's t it's tough. It's very tough. It's just they got to learn. To, it's, it's a toughness thing. We got we got we got to learn how to be tough on and off the field, the mental and the physical aspect. I believe that's that's what as a senior class, I believe that's what we try to lead. Well, Darius, can you talk about having a game like that against Tennessee State? Being from Maplewood, uh, just is it extra special for you being from Nashville? Oh, you know, it's always, you know, special. It means a lot to me because, I mean, I'm from Nashville, and, you know, when I go home, I got to hear those guys' mouth all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just being, you know, like I said, you know, <clears throat> more than that was just, man, finishing the year out strong, and, you know, like Coach Brown said, leaving a, a taste of victory in our mouth for our last time being on this field, you know. And to me, that's all that really mattered tonight from the get-go. Can you talk about, I talked to Coach Reed, and he said the big start that you guys had was too much for them to overcome. You had a lot to do with that, with two touchdowns, first three times you touched them over. Well, yeah, you know, I mean, I just want to, you know, offensive line opened up some great gashes, and, you know, they did their job and I did mine. They made my job easy, and, hey, this time. <laughs> Watson, well, can you talk about holding them off when they're, they just wouldn't go away? No, nobody in this league goes away. It's, you, you, I think these seniors could tell you that after being in it. Um, that's the good thing about this league. I mean, every week you go out, you got to you got to go win the game. You don't get many given to you. <laughs> and uh, this one, they didn't go away. We we hit them early, quick, and uh, they hung in there, and they kept fighting us and fighting us. And 
it was a bad weather night, and usually turnovers and, and defense will, will end up making the plays. And I thought the difference tonight was our defense. Our offense got some early points, but our defense blocked an extra point for two points, intercepted a pass for a touchdown, and then uh, held them to a field goal instead of a touchdown on that last drive prior to the last drive. Uh, then our offense made a few first downs and got the ball out, put them back deep, and then our defense held them at, at the end. So our defense did what they needed to do. And uh, just, just proud, proud for the seniors told them all this this I, I didn't help them much this year the way we are in the program right now to for them to have to be through this three years of trying to rebuild after we won the dadgum thing and to put 50 something guys in two classes and to win an OVC championship maybe uh, thank goodness I didn't walk away from them but when all those graduated it was a bare cupboard so we didn't get to reload we had to redo and uh, these guys were here, and they were the ones that had to redo. And uh, they've been they've been great for these three years, just great. I thought last year was fantastic. We had the toughest schedule we've had around here in a long time. And injuries out the kazoo and to finish four and four in the league. These guys, I mean, I thought that was special last year. And to come back and still keep us in the middle of the pack this year, I think we probably finished about fifth, didn't we? Somewhere in there. Uh, through this through this rebuilding the last two years they've kept us right in the middle of the pack and uh, there is a ton of as they'll tell you there are a ton of young kids on this team too many of them played this year um, again that's on me but that, that's what happened and there was a lot of them that were good enough to play and they went out there and played and some ways it helped us some ways it hurt us but these these seniors are better much better they're three years here in my opinion that they've all been starting pretty much uh, has been better than their record, in my personal opinion, and just because of the way Coach Brown set up the pro. Talk about McCoy's play tonight. So, uh, McCoy. Uh, and we're all proud of Brock, I mean, Lord. Brock McCoy was going to break all the records of Tim Benford, who's the yeah. MVP of the league four years ago here. And yet, when all these quarterbacks start going down, what do we got to do? We got to go to Brock. And uh, he don't bat an eye. I'm not sure that's what he wanted to do, but he don't bat an eye, and uh, he's just a gutty guy to do whatever he can to help his football team win, and I think all four of these guys would tell you that. Everybody respects Brock, and and he didn't have any great night tonight, but why would you? I mean, you've been playing quarterback two and a half, three weeks at the most, and uh, but uh, he made some big plays at big times to, to help us win the game.